Well, where do you want me to go? Can't you guess? In the big screen battle of the sexes, Rosalind Russell held the front line for women everywhere. When the script called for a no-nonsense career gal with an arched eyebrow and a killer hat, Russell was everyone's first choice. Hey, the uh, velvet glove on top and underneath the brass knuckles. Oh, I never show my knuckles. Like many stars of Hollywood's golden era, Rosalind Russell began her career on the New York stage. After being put under contract to Universal, she made her film debut in 1934. She soon moved over to MGM, where her credits began to mount up. When she made The Women in 1939, Russell hit her stride. Thanks for the warning. In 1939, Columbia announced it would do a remake of the front page called His Girl Friday, with the role of Hildy Johnson to be played by a woman. Studio chief Harry Cohn told the press that Gene Arthur had the part, but the star refused. Claudette Colbert, Carol Lombard, and Irene Dunn also turned down the role. With the start date just two weeks away, Cohn arranged to borrow Rosalind Russell from MGM. Hollywood is calling. Oh my, things are piling up, aren't they? Just a second about it. Hot off her score in The Women, Russell resented the fact that she wasn't the director's first choice, so she showed up for her audition with her hair still wet from a swim. I'm going to live like a human being, not like you chumps. It was Hawk's lucky day. Russell's timing was perfect. Her delivery was punchy. She owned the part. In Russell's hands, Hildy Johnson was everything a woman could be, bold, brainy, and beautiful. Yeah. Tomorrow morning, I'll bet you there's a Hildy Johnson cigar. You can see the billboards now. It says, light up with Hildy Johnson. Oh, wow, will you stop that acting? Huh? We got a lot to do. Hildy Johnson tries to balance her desire for home and family with her need for a career, a conflict that would provide the fodder for Russell's screen stardom. I'm no suburban bridge player. I'm a newspaper man. Russell would often play the career girl whose professional life was under control, but whose love life came up short. I don't want a wedding. Nobody can make me have a wedding. A woman decides that for herself, and I haven't decided. Off camera, Russell relished her role as wife and mother. Cary Grant had a hand in that when he introduced her to his friend, Frederick Brisson. In 1941, the couple were married, and Grant was their best man. In the 1950s, Russell returned triumphantly to the New York stage, scoring with critics in Anti Maine. Oh, I mean, I love New York. I love everything about it. I like the air. I like... Ah! 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 Russell was nominated for four Oscars, but never won. In 1973, she received the Academy's Jean Hirschholt Humanitarian Award for the charity work that had always been so important in her life. At her funeral in 1976, Cary Grant spoke of her tremendous heart and bid a fond farewell to a very special career woman.